All right, everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. And this right here is our beginning of working on 30 Apex use cases. This is part of our Salesforce developer curriculum. We have come a long way and we have understood a lot of things. And this now is time to actually start looking at Apex use cases. We'll start with the super easy ones and then we'll jump into intermediate and advanced ones okay let's try to cover a good range of use cases there would be 30 use cases one use case per video and for this apex use cases i'm planning not to use uh, what do you call it not to use the salesforce developer console okay we've done a lot of code here which is good but ideally all of your development if it is connected to any kind of version control system or if it is connected to multiple orgs should be done on visual studio code okay that's a better place to write code okay so we'll move our lives from developer console to vs code which is visual studio code for those of you who have not set it up yet please go ahead and set it up and if, so this one right here yeah vs code and salesforce cli for developers so if you take a look at this particular playlist you should be able to set up your vs code and do pretty much everything that you want to do and then we can get started on actually writing code on VS code and working our way around here. Okay, so let's take a look at our first use case. So first use case is use case one, write a method that accepts the first name, last name and email of a person and creates a contact record for the same. Okay, before we jump into this, I'll very quickly set up our VS code. So let's say I want to create a new project with manifest i'll say create a standard project and i'll say this is apex use cases okay and i'll just put it in my repository folder yeah and i'll just leave it here say create so this has created my vs code project i'll just get rid of all the unnecessary messages I have the org browser coming up here, but it is not connected to any org, right? I hope you guys are able to see the VS Code screen. I'll just maximize a bit, zoom in a bit. So yeah, default org. I'll just go ahead and say authorize an org, login, and I'll say Apex, use cases. And this should open up the screen to authorize the org on the browser. So let's go to the browser. It, it might take some time. Yeah, it has come in here. It says authentication successful. It will show up the success message here. We'll just wait for it to show up. Yeah, so authorize ran successfully. So you see your Apex masterclass org is now connected. And if I refresh my org browser, I should see my entire metadata here. Okay, it should load up in a while. Yes, everything is here. Okay, let's go to the file explorer, force app, classes. And here we don't have anything right now right but what we'll do is we'll start creating the classes here and we'll do a play of we will we'll play the push and pull the deploy deploy and retrieve and meanwhile we'll also work on our use cases okay this will also ensure that you get familiar with vs code if you're not and you should be and you also have get that habit of writing code on visual studio code okay that brings us to use case number one now before we jump into the use case one last thing before i get started if you think you sh are able to write this code on your own right just pause the video here write it yourself and just you know publish it maybe on the comments or you know just just write to me that you know yes you were able to achieve it okay and the consideration of the use cases is pretty much based on everything that we have covered it's not something very fancy something very high technology advanced kind of things no it's based on everything that we already know based on what we have learned you should be able to solve these use cases okay it's just that you have to create your problem solving skills you'll have to enhance and you know uh, do that kind of stuff yeah so use case number one pretty straightforward we are going to create a contact record let's jump into it so i'll say create apex class i'll call it apex use case one okay so the class is created i'll get rid of the constructor i'll get rid of the sharing keyword for now okay this is our plain class public class apex use case one and i'll create a new method i'll say public static void create new contact correct save 
what does it say it says that you need to accept three things first name last name and email of a person so these four would be your these three would be your parameters so i'll say string first name string last name and string email address okay just keep in mind and just see how i'm writing the variable names what is the data type that i'm defining okay and then you also try to do the same if you have not done it and if you have done something better let me know okay so what do we need to do we need to create a contact record correct so i'll say contact con equals new contact and i'll just name it con to insert okay a relevant variable name con to insert is instantiated so i can simply use the dot keyword to access the fields right so the first field is first name this should be equal to the first name value that has come as part of the method params okay what's the second thing that i need to map i need to map the last name okay so i'll just map the last name here and the third and final thing is the email address right ideally only last name is a mandatory field which is required for creating a contact record so that's all however we'll just set up the three values okay and i'll just go ahead and say insert con to insert okay cool now some enhancements here okay beautifying and adding some best practices so i'll just say new list of contact yeah and then i'll say con list to insert should be the variable name and then i'll create a new contact variable okay i'll instantiate it and i'll just call it con to insert okay so far so good now instead of saying insert con to insert i'll simply say con list to insert dot add this particular value variable okay and then finally i'll say if con list to insert dot size is greater than 0 only then go ahead and call the insert command okay i can get rid of this insert and i'll say save looks good what else can we do we can also do things like put a check if first name is not equal to empty and or let's say let's just put the check on the last name that's it so last name is not equal to empty okay because last name is a mandatory field only then we are going to do all of this perfect what is another way to check not equal to empty you can also put string dot is blank so you can say string dot is blank yeah so you can just say string dot is blank last name but it should not be blank so you'll say string dot is not blank so you put a exclamation sign here perfect done all right now we are good with this use case so what we'll do is we'll quickly just say deploy deploy this source to org so when i say deploy this source this compiles and if there's an error it will throw me an error here but there was no error so you see that the class was created it is called apex use case 1 let's go to the safari browser let's open this particular class Okay it's not showing here right now let's refresh and then it should show up Apex use case 1 So this is the Apex class All right Now what we'll do we'll quickly give it a test Apex use case 1 dot create new contact Yeah and i'll say first name is himanshu second name is maheshwari third name is salesforce makes sense at the rate gmail.com okay let's go ahead and execute it executed fine no errors time to check on the contact record whether a record is created or not
or instead let's use our Sokal skill. So I'll say select ID comma name from contact order by created date desk limit five, right? So I'll just get the latest five contacts created. So let's just say first name comma last name comma email address. There should be email. Let's query it out. Let's see. So you see the very first record is the latest created record and that's our record that's just created. Okay, so the contact has been created as part of our use case. Straightforward, simple, very good to start with. No, no worries. What else could have we done? We could have just used the database.insert command and you know fetch the ID. That's it. But yeah, good to start with. No worries. That was use case one. <laughs>